Hey there, YouTube Medwitch here. Uh, I'm actually going to try uh, scripted this time. Um, so, uh, this is how I want to do it. Intro. Hi, YouTube Medwitch here. Random talking about other th things, explaining the reason for... Holy crap, I got Van Hattering. Reason for scripted... Oh, I wasn't supposed to read that. I'm sorry. Problem. Explain. Okay, so the problem is Vigilant Christian. See, what he's doing... Now, my explanation is... What he's doing right now is he's... Uh, he made a video called... Who are you to judge? Debunked by the Vigilant Christian. Sorry, it took me a little while. Uh, so he goes goes on complaining about uh, people are on his messenger, or not his messenger, on his comment section saying that he's uh, too judgmental and... Does that seem dark to you? That he's too judgmental and that he's being a hypocrite and everything he's doing. And that there's a lot of non-Christians saying that Christians cannot judge other people based on the Bible. So he goes on through it and explains how Christians can judge people and should just judge people righteously. Point one. Don't judge me slash only God can judge. Okay, so he <laughs> this is awesome. So he kind of opens it. I don't want to say he opens it up because he doesn't. He opens it up with his with the problem. And his first point is, uh, musician musician entertainers such as Madonna and uh. Tupac use phrases like don't judge me or only God can judge me. He's taking this way too fucking literally. These two phrases don't mean that you as a Christian cannot judge another person. What they're saying is get the fuck off my back. And I don't care about your opinion. The only opinion and judgment I care about is God's. That's what it literally means. I don't give a damn what you fucking say. I don't give a damn! Hi, kitty! The fucking... <laughs> so cute! Are you being cute? Fucking cat. So that's what it means by don't judge me or only God can judge me. You're taking it way too fucking literally. Point two. Claims of righteous judgment. Oh yeah, he claims that uh that he is being uh righteous in his judgment of uh the entertainment industries. He calls it the media. I call it the entertainment industries, and that means uh movies, music, TV shows, you know that kind of thing. I'm not talking about like news networks. To me, that's media. To me personally, that's media. I know that's not the technical definition of it, but to differentiate between entertainment and information, that's what I use. Media is information, entertainment industry is entertainment. So his, his claims of righteous judgment on musicians and anyone else of the entertainment industry, actors, actresses, whatever they're all saying don't judge me and yada 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 but when he goes off on tangents about illuminati conspiracy theories and satanic cult conspiracy theories and that all of these members of the entertainment industry are part of uh these organizations these super secret organizations that he's knows so fucking much about and knows their whole entire plan because he's obviously one of them is making righteous judgment by 
basically slandering them. I mean, that's that's technically what he's doing is he's slandering them. I mean, when you watch, if you were to seen something like this on the news, if you actually believe the news, I don't. But for those of you who actually do believe the news, and you watch the news, and you see something, someone come up, one of your, you know, I don't, whatever news station you watch, and you see the the uh, news acre saying, uh, in today's news, uh, the Illuminati has, you know, killed another person, you know, or the Illuminati is now making, you know, uh, actors A, B, and C do uh, satanic symbolatry to brainwash us all into jerking off or some shit, then yeah, you're not going to allow your kids to watch those actors anymore, even if they are family friendly. So yeah, you're not making righteous judgment about them. Uh, ooh, pardon me. Alright, point three, Matthew 7. He brings up Matthew 7. Uh, stating that people only that people cherry pick that non Christians cherry pick, he he makes it very clear that non Christians say they only pay attention to this but not the rest of this and he scribbles out he uses some edit, uh some uh fancy art program or whatever to scribble out the rest of the verse except judge. Uh, Matthew seven verse one through eight I think it is is what he showed on the video um i'm not going to go through it all but the very first part of it does say uh judge not these be judged and yes people do use that against christians all the time which is in both senses right and wrong here's the reason why later on uh i think it starts around three or four It starts to use the metaphor of the speck in one eye, the speck in your buddy's eye, and the stick in your own, right? So basically, you can't talk about somebody else's speck when you got a stick in your own. This is a metaphor for uh, in impurities or imperfections, uh, wrongdoings, mistakes, bad decisions. That's what it's a metaphor of. And what it's saying is, how can you pinpoint someone else's small mistake when you yourself throughout your entire life have made small little mistakes and maybe even some big ones. You know, that's what that's saying. So, really, again, even if you are a Christian, you still have no right judging another person because you still have something left over in your eye. Even if you do become a Christian and you start to behave uh, appropriately, I guess you can say, um... You know, you're still doing some bad things. You're still making bad choices. Every single day you're making a bad choice. You know, it may not be apparent to you at the moment, but it will come back to you in the end and bite you in the ass. You know, it's not always apparent when we make our decisions at first, whether it's a good or bad decision. For instance, I made a bad decision once of eating the sushi. I regretted it later. I thought, hey, this is a good idea. Let's have some sushi. I regretted it later. I was on the toilet for an hour. Just saying, you know, we do make bad decisions. We all make mistakes. Nobody is perfect. And it goes, and the whole metaphor is, is, you know, so long as you have some form of imperfection, you cannot point out another person's imperfection. That's basically what it's saying. So, in one sense, the judge not let see be judged is right and wrong at the same time. In this case, it is possible because, I mean, if you're if you're pointing out something that you've never done before, then I suppose that's that's one of those I suppose maybe given the context could. You know, very, very small, small percentage that it's actually worth talking about. 
Last point I want to come across. He had the audacity to compare himself, well, not just himself, but Christians in general, to law judges. Uh, saying that you're not going to, he showed a picture of a judge, a law judge, saying that you're not going to tell this guy that he can't judge you and blah, 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 so why would you basically, you know, saying, you will you wouldn't tell him that, why would you tell me that? Simple. I obviously did something wrong to be put in that situation to begin with, so I obviously made a mistake, and now it's the judge's job to look at the evidence that uh, the person I've wronged has, or the whatever, whatever the situation, looks at what I did wrong, and then I have the opportunity to prove, to give my evidence saying, you know, it wasn't me. And then he will look at that, and then he would be like, well, you know, the evidence against you is more compelling, and by law, I have to go with this. It's a very hard job to do. He then goes on to say that judges always make, basically, he, he doesn't outright say it, but he implies it, that Judges always make the right decision for the right reason. This is not always the case. Even judges make mistakes. But they are legal judges. You're there sitting in front of the judge because somebody said you did something wrong. An example of this. Uh, about a week ago I read a story about this guy uh, in Ohio. He spent 27 years of his life in prison for something he did not do. After 27 years of being incarcerated, 27 years of his life, I don't know if he had any kids or if he had a wife or anything, but if he did, he missed out on 20... His kids are already grown, already married, already have kids of their own. I mean, 27 years. That's a long time, 27 years. That guy has been in jail for as long as I've been alive. That's, uh, that's horrible. I mean, I've already been through school. I could have been through college already. I've, you know, I've lived my life. And he spent my lifetime so far behind bars in a concrete freaking room Ohio the Ohio judge or state realized that they made a mistake and they corrected it they released him and they're compensating him for 27 years they're compensating him uh, $40,000 for 27 years and paying off all of his legal fees that is amazing so, go ahead, Vigilant Christian, compare yourself to a judge, because you have to take that with you as well. But in this case, the judge may not always be right in his judgment, but you are always wrong in yours. From your videos, that's what I see. That is my judgment. And I have the evidence that everybody can see on YouTube. So you got to take the good with the bad. The judges don't always make the right call. They do send innocent men and women to jail. But they believe that they have no choice but to because the evidence is so overwhelming. Or even if there is a lack of evidence, they have to go by what's plausible I guess I don't know I don't know how the legal system works all I know is that the innocent until proven guilty is a bunch of bullshit but yeah uh, closing statement so my closing statement to you Mario is before you think that you're some righteous crusader just because you're a born-again Christian you know I've I just you know I even got done watching another video of you 
uh, basically judging another person that and his family. He made a video against uh, Mr. Repsion. Uh, against one of Mr. Repsion, Repsion's videos and saying that uh, Repsion's family were not Christians, they are not Christians, that uh, Repsion never was a practicing Christian, that he, you know, never, that what Repsion says is basically completely and totally lies. Me, I'm not going to say one way or the other. Repsion says he went through this. I'm inclined to believe him. That it's his life. I wasn't there. I can't say that no, this didn't happen. Vigilant Christian Mario does. Vigilant Christian, this is that's wrongfully judging somebody. You're not righteously judging somebody. You're being a hypocrite by doing this. You're you're looking at other people's specs when you still have a stick in your eye. And that's against the Bible. So, no, you do not have the right to judge people. You did not debunk anything. You just strengthen everything against you and against your judgmental, hypocritical, bullshit behavior. And before you go off and say, well, you're being judgmental and you're being hypocritical and you're a fucking douchebag, I already know all these things. This is not new to me. And I will gladly proclaim that I am a douchebag. Dick, asshole, cuntbag, call me whatever the fuck you will. Yeah. I call it how it is. I speak my mind. And yeah, I do come off as being a dick. I'm not ashamed of that. And as for being hypocritical, yeah, I am being hypocritical. I'm judging you, a man with a speck in his eye, when I have a speck of my own. That's just how it is. But at least I'm not going around talking about people that, you know, don't deserve it. You deserve it. You're sitting here trying to make up excuses for yourself so that way you can, so that way you can justify your judgmental, hypocritical behavior. And I hope no other Christians act like this guy does. I seriously hope you don't, because this is what's wrong with, this This is, Vigilant Christian is the reason why people are attacking Christianity, it's because of people like him, because of these judgmental, hypocritical assholes, it's because of those kind of people that, you know, Christianity has a bad name. Now when I start judging people, I don't bring my religion into it because it is my personal opinion. I am not taking my religious beliefs and saying you're wrong because my religion says so. No, I'm saying you're wrong because logically and educationally, I am saying you're wrong. So, all I guess I have to say is take religion out of your arguments because it doesn't work. When you have educated arguments, logical arguments, non-religious arguments to back yourself up. And again, you need to provide more evidence than a covering of the eye and the... The, the, the triangle thingy, whatever, how it goes, or the Rockefeller, or whatever, you know, just, just stop it. You need evidence. And if any of you, and if any of his subscribers actually believe his Illuminati bullshit, that's on you. You guys are all, you know, you guys want to believe the worst in everything. This is fear-mongering, and it needs to stop. So I hope you guys all learned something about being judgmental and why it can be harmful and why it's 
you know, you really shouldn't do it. As always, blessed be.